I plan to come back to to get my degree in December and um, hopefully compete for another national championship this year as well with this team. Hey, Jordan, I want to ask you about Kool-Aid and what you've seen from him last year development-wise and, and this spring, just how, how how far he's come along. He's uh, come along very well. Uh, right now he's learning the playbook. He's getting more comfortable, more and more comfortable with uh with the players with the with the scheme and uh, he's teaching all the other players he's being able to teach teach other players other corners how to play the position so I love the progress from him as well yeah another corner uh, Eli Ricks uh, joined the the team this this offseason I mean what stands out to you about him so far yeah also he's uh he's learning the playbook uh he just he just uh got here we know that um but um every day he's getting better and better <laughs> He's been in the playbook. Uh, he's learning, getting more comfortable out there, and he's playing faster as he gets more comfortable. So, so we're loving the progress from him, him as well. There's a whole lot of starters back on defense. Just how are the expectations adjusted or maybe raised because of that? Yeah, the big thing is leadership. You know, leading all the guys. You know, I know we have a lot returning, but we have to stay humble, stay, keep everybody in the in the in their right mind every day in practice. Go out there, practice hard. Practice harder and harder. The Dolphin offense is going to challenge us, so we got to go out there. You know, Bryce Hosmer, your award winner, uh, you're going to check, keep us keep us on our toes. So so just stay in focus. Yeah. Who's the hardest hitter in the secondary, if you have to judge? <laughs> I think we have a lot of hard hitters, but um, there's there's a couple guys who stick out, like uh, like BB and um, DeMarco. Those are, those are probably, like, the, the two, two hard head hitters. I think they have. Some concussions or something. They need to check it. So we hit too hard. We heard from Henry and DJ last week, and they both cited unfinished business for their decisions to return. I think you said the same thing when you announced your decision mm-hmm. too. Just is that something you guys collectively talk about, or is that just kind of what fuels you individually? I feel like that's something that fuels us individually. Uh, that's just something that's that's that comes with the Bama standard coming to Bama. That's that's what's instilled in you. You know, you want to win. And, then, and if you don't win, you, you're still hungry and you're hungry for more. So I think that's the, the main thing of the decision to come back for us individually. 